Greetings, family, and welcome to part two of the conversation of the Sacred Woman's Conference. That is coming up next month on Saturday, October the 8th, and I'm here with both of my godmothers this time, Annette and Shirley. Annette had an opportunity to share a little bit with you about what she's going to be talking about at the conference. However, I want to give you an opportunity to have an intimate conversation with Shirley and what she's going to share at the conference. Shirley. Thank you, Latoya. And once again, it's a blessing to be here with both of you, you and Annette. Hello, family. It's great to see you out there, and I look forward to meeting you at the conference. I'm going to be talking to you about what it is to be a sacred woman or a sacred being, however you would prefer. So I want you to consider something. This is an invitation. Are you a sacred woman or are you a scared woman? They both have the same letters. I invite you to consider yourself as a sacred woman and to look at the many spiritual practices that are in your life that allow you to open up and embrace who you really are. We are going to be talking about embodying your total self, your shadows and your light. Everything about you is sacred. We don't want to leave anything out and that's what we'll be talking about at this conference. I'm also going to invite you to purchase one of my journals. This is Sacred Inner Work Journal 2. This will help you to do the work that is necessary in order to find out what the deeper aspects of your being is saying to you. You want to know what your soul is talking about. And that's what all of us are going to be lifting up at this particular conference. We're going to be doing a whole lot of soul talk. And we're inviting you to join us in that conversation. Wow. I hope you're getting very, very fed off of that. And I'm excited. And a lot of people have asked me over some over this past year, you know, tell me about your true transformation. What has happened for you? I've seen the weight loss. And I tell you, it's because of these two ladies, the reason why I was able to lose the weight, because it was the emotional weight that I was holding on to. And so I was appreciative of these two for really coaching me throughout this time and they've been with me for a very, very long time. So Annette, share with us a little bit about why people should come to this conference. You know, one of the main things and the important thing I think about the conference and why people need to come is because people need to identify with their true authentic self. Um, and we've been taught so many things about the outside. You know, we go get our nails done, we go get our hair done, we do all of this outer work. And on the outside, we look all nice, you know, we got our Gucci and we look, you know, all these wonderful things. But on the inside, our inner child is crying. Mm -hmm. Our inner child is reaching out to us and saying, come inside here. I need you. I want to connect with you. And we hear the voice. But do we listen? Do we take that time to get quiet and go inside and spend time? You know, in the society that we're living in now, everything is so busy, busy, rush, rush, go, go. And we need to stop and take the time and just say, I need to just be with me. I understand we have families, I understand we have jobs, we have all this other things going on. We make time for those things, but we don't take the time to make time for ourselves. So what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be doing exercises, we're going to be doing all different kind of things to help you recognize who you really are and love who you are inside. Because if you don't love you, how can you love anybody else? We have little girls out there that are looking to us, looking for guidance. How can we give our children guidance if we don't even have the guidance ourselves? So I challenge you to come on out and finally take the time to say enough is enough. It's time for me to take care of myself. You know, I tell people it's time for you to be selfish. And society has taught us, oh, you're being selfish, you're thinking about you. Well, to me, the word self means self-care. Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to take care of yourself. Do for you what your inner child is calling for. Oh, I 
That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And well put and well said. So next month, we hope to see you on Saturday, October the 8th. We're going to be in the workshop from 10 to 3. We will have some snacks for you to feed you as well. It's going to be at 1667 East 40th Street in Cleveland at the Loft Works. Tickets are limited and we only, only have just a few. So this is a great time to act now. The perfect season so that you can do the inner work so you can blast off into 2017. Thank you so much and we'll see you there.